Hello everyone and in today's video, I will show you how you can host your website for free using Workflow. Now note that this is only applicable for people who have coded their own website. So if you're using Weebly, WordPress or Wix to create your website, this tutorial is not for you. In fact, if you're using a Weebly, WordPress or a Wix, you can host your website for free using their own uh, given domain name. So let's just jump straight to it. So as you can see, I have already created my own little folder. It's called a uh, test TA. And I've already added some basic stuff enough for us to create our website. So now the first thing I would do is go on GitHub. So let's open GitHub. And I would just create a new repository. So I would press create repository. Let's name this test, uh, tech approved, tech approved, uh, public, and uh, let's create this repository. Okay. Okay, so now what we need to do is upload our files onto GitHub, and we can do so by clicking upload and uploading an existing file over here you can just click that choose your you can choose our files and we created our little folder it's called test ta and as you can see we can't upload a folder here but what we can do is upload files so if you have like if you have a folder with let's say 300 or 400 files it of course won't be a viable option to upload every single one of them so what you can do is actually take your folder and convert it into a zip folder and then upload the zip folder here and then extract it. So you can just click open. Okay, so now what we need to do is press commit changes and this will upload our files. So now as you can see our files are uploaded. Now what we need to do is go on workle.com press sign up we can do continue with github authorize so so we can just do tech approved continue we'll just import a, the github repository so Okay, so now as you can see, we need to get the URL of our GitHub repository. So as you can see, it's right here. We can press over here, then continue. We can press yes. So, um, yeah, we can connect this with our personal account. All repositories, yes. So I'm going to fill in our password. It's just verifying your connection as of now. Continue. That that the test is a root folder. So yeah, we can just name it as test deploy. So now, as you can see, I started my deployment two hours ago. And I'm so in queue now. This is probably because there's a lot of people using this right now, and the their server is overloaded. So that's why I have been put in queue, put in a queue. But just to show you guys the proof of concept, I will show you that this actually works. So your uh, thing will end in dot now dot sh. So as you can see here, if our name of the project is test, then we would need to do test dot now dot sh and as you can see the deployment is still in process and that's what this it it says right here that this de de this deployment is no longer available and uh, just to show you guys that this does not happen with every single one of the dot now dot sh so we'll just kind of do some kind of put some random letters here and as you can see now it shows me an error but when you show the pro the project that I that I've imported on Workle it shows that this deployment is no longer available and it will be available once 
the uh, once I'm out of the queue and my deployment is live. Thanks for watching this video. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and click the bell icon for notifications. See you guys on the next one.